If you want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. I don't know where the idea came from that the Christian life was easy, that it is a pathway to wealth, health, and happiness. This is sometimes known as the prosperity gospel, where following Jesus is said to result in success as the world defines it. That you get rewarded with blessings like money and power and influence and status. I'm not a fan of the prosperity gospel. Not least because Jesus didn't say that. Jesus said, if you're going to follow me, get ready to pick up a cross. And Jesus died on a cross. The way of Jesus is costly. The way of Jesus is difficult. It is risky. It is counterintuitive and foolish according to the ways of the world. The world which says, look to yourself, your own gain, your own profit, your own life and security, no matter the expense to others. Unfortunately, the church has repeatedly bought into this narrative, seeking after things which it shouldn't. The church has repeatedly sought out power, money, status, supremacy. As the churches have faced decline in these areas, in some parts of the world, like our part of the world, we have had a tendency to more desperately try to hold on to these things, clinging to them, clinging to our own life. But the more we cling, the more these things slip through our fingers. We have forgotten Jesus' words that those who want to save their life will lose it. This is not to say that there is not joy and peace and connection and blessing and even life to be found in the way of Jesus. There certainly is. I have encountered all of these things on this way we travel. However, the way of Jesus is above all the way of humility, a way marked by self-giving service and sacrificial love, a, where, a way where we give up and give away any and all power we have amassed, where true joy is found in giving rather than receiving, where we do not need to be afraid. We do not need to be afraid even in the face of our own deaths, whether as individuals or institutions. We have forgotten at times this way, the way of Jesus, the way of the cross, the way we have been called to walk. As a community of Jesus followers coming together for our vestry meeting today to do this piece of the work of the church, I think it is important to remember what the way of Jesus entails. It is important to remember as we look back on the year and what has taken place, how do we evaluate what happened according to the way of Jesus? What are the signs of the way of the cross? We ended the year here at St. John's with a surplus, which is incredible, all things considered, and I give thanks for that. However, that is not our highest good nor goal. We are not a business or company whose aim and purpose is profit. This is not where I see the strongest signs of the way of the cross. Where I do catch a glimpse of the way of the cross is that in an uncertain year, we decided to give more money away, more to outreach, to benefit our community and the world than we said we would. Where I see the way of the cross is when people joined together for a book study with Squamish United that confronted the sin and evil of racism in our society, in our churches, and in ourselves. Where I see the way of the cross is in the ways people reached out and cared for each other during a global pandemic. Where I see the way of the cross is when people engaged deeply with their faith 
lifting up those in need in prayer, when people allowed their faith to inform their actions and lives. There are many ways that we have followed in the way of Jesus this past year at St. John's. And for that, I am incredibly grateful. It is also important to remember that the way of Jesus is the way of the cross as we look forward, as we set goals for ourselves and for the upcoming year. The future is uncertain. I hope and believe that St. John's has many years of ministry left. That is what I'm working for. I am committed to that with you. However, we don't know for sure. We never know for sure. And if, hypothetically, we did not, if we were coming to our end this year, or even this day, I hope that we would not fear death, that we, we, that we would not cling to our own life. I hope that we would rather go forward trusting in God, looking outward rather than inward, not to our own life, but rather loving and serving our community boldly in the name of Jesus to the very end. I pray that we may live this way. Wouldn't that be an amazing thing? What I am grateful for and feeling strongly today is that, though it can be at times, the way of the cross is not a lonely way. I am so blessed to walk this way with you. And we walk this way with people around the world and in every way, age. We walk this way in the very footsteps of the creator of the universe, our friend and our savior, Jesus. May we tread this path well and faithfully together. Thanks be to God.